the rise and rise of the Asian International Arbitration Center, or why you should conduct your arbitration at the Asian International Arbitration Center, Kuala Lumpur. The Asian International Arbitration Center, or AIAC, is the leading edge in Asian and Malaysian international arbitration. It is located in one of the most iconic heritage buildings in Malaysia, the Bangunan Sulaiman at Kuala Lumpur. This beautiful and huge structure sits beside and opposite two equally conspicuous colonial buildings. The first is the old Central Railway Station and the second is the Colonial Era Majestic Hotel. The AIAC provides a wide range of alternative dispute resolution products. AIAC provides state-of-the-art facilities and that too at an affordable price. It houses 24 hearing rooms, two huge hearing auditoriums, a business center, and an arbitrator's lounge. Electronic and internet speeds are super fast. Parties and council have the option to conduct hearings physically, virtually, or in a hybrid format. AIAC has a huge world-class and specialized Alternative Dispute Resolution and Construction Law Library. This is open to the public. There are ample free parking spaces for visitors. It is no surprise, therefore, that the Global Arbitration Review has given the top rank to AIAC's facilities. My own view is that it would be far cheaper for parties from India and China or Japan to take a flight to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and arbitrate their dispute at the AIAC as compared to the costs of even arbitrating in their own countries. Beyond that, several factors place AIAC as Asia's arbitration focal point. For a start, what about the fantastic Malaysian cuisine? Second, consider the 24-hour effective transportation system. Third, the Malaysian judiciary is respectful of arbitral decisions. Fourth, the government is supportive of arbitration and arbitrators. Fifth, think about how cheap it is to arbitrate in Malaysia. And in Malaysia, legal costs are relatively cheaper. The cost of five-star hotels are far below that in other international capitals. The weather, as you know, is excellent. These are the major incentives to arbitrate at AIAC Malaysia. I once participated as counsel in a huge arbitration. The demand was for US 340 million. It was at a neighboring country. Despite all the hype, seating arrangements over 15 legal counsel was cramped. Food outlets were too far away. One had to take the LRT to get lunch. Contrast that with AIAC, all you need to do is to step out of the AIAC and there is world-class food available just across the road at Majestic Hotel. Now, for a bit of history. The AIAC was previously known as the Kuala Lumpur Regional Center for Arbitration or KLRCA. In 2018, on its 40th anniversary, KLRCA changed its name to AIAC. The AIAC was itself established on the 17th of April 1978 as an independent supranational arbitral institution with its own juridical capacity and personality. It is set up under the auspices of the Asian African Legal Consultative Organization or ALCO for short. This rebranding was reflective of AIAC's international standing, the broad sweep of its services and its proven ability to handle international disputes. The AIAC is accorded certain privileges and immunities under the International Organization's Privileges and Immunities Act 1992 for the purposes of executing its functions. This one feature sets the AIAC apart from other arbitral institutions in the region because under the law, it is an independent international organization. So international parties can confidently arbitrate their disputes at the AIAC. The AIAC is currently led 
by its director Datuk Sundra Raju. Datuk Sundra brings with him a wealth of expertise and experience. He was pivotal in promoting Malaysia as a major arbitration hub during his previous 8 year stint up until 2018 when he was the director of the AIAC. Sundra has also authored several practitioner's texts in international and local arbitration. On the 16th of March 2023, the government of Malaysia in consultation with Alco reappointed Sundra as its director. On his return, Sundra was asked to re-establish AIAC's strong international presence in the alternative dispute resolution community. Sundra has often stated that AIAC is committed to capacity building exercises that would benefit the entire international arbitration community. I hope this brief video has given you an insight into the crucial role that the AIAC plays in establishing Malaysia as the preferred venue for alternative dispute resolution. Thank you very much and goodbye.